just returned from northern Iraq, where I visited with Christians and other refugees and traveled to the front lines, literally within sniper range of ISIS. More on the refugees shortly, but first, ISIS is losing territory and momentum in Syria and Iraq. U.S. and coalition forces want to continue that trend with a major push against Mosul, Iraq's second largest city. ISIS took control there two years ago, and as I report from the front lines, losing Mosul would cost the Islamic State in more ways than one. One of the main forces in the liberation of Mosul will be the Kurdish military known as the Peshmerga. This is the front line positions of the Kurdish military. It's about four to 600 yards away from ISIS positions, close enough to see an ISIS flag on a hilltop nearby. Beyond that is the town of Beshika, a Yazidi village captured by ISIS. Then the plains of Nineveh, and about 18 miles away is the city of Mosul, the prize in the upcoming military campaign. This modern day band of brothers are Kurdish Peshmerga fighters from Iran. They're one unit of many on a several hundred mile front. We joined Dave Eubank from the Free Burma Rangers up on the front. You see those buildings right down the, the valley? Yep. Oh, yeah. Can you see the road bends to the right? They've come up to the upper bend okay. and assaulted around that corner, mm -hmm. which is about 300 yards away. Sitting behind sandbags, we talk with Eubank about the Kurdish military. The Kurds are on the front line. They're on 10 day rotations. That means if you're a butcher, baker, candlestick maker, soldier or not, you come here. Because if you don't, ISIS is gonna be in your house. These front lines are lands written about in the Bible. In this particular spot, we're looking at Nineveh, Bashika, then Nineveh, where Jonah was. And people don't change that much throughout history. We all need God. And in Jonah's time, the Ninevites were doing their own terrible things, but they repented. So that's my prayer for ISIS for myself and for ISIS to repent and follow God's way. Just a short drive away, Commanding Officer General Bahram told us what lies ahead for his troops. Our situation is very good because the Peshmerga are in a good position and also the Kurdish people are helping us a lot and the coalition forces are standing with us. He won't be alone. Military leaders from several European nations met with the general. This German commander told us how the Europeans established a center to train the Kurdish Peshmerga and prepare for the Mosul offensive. They need not only training, but a morale boost. Helping with that need is Sister Peshmerga, who comes to the front lines to encourage the troops. She also delivered a message to the world. I want to say, please, we need help. Bring the gun. We need the help. Bring the good... Uh, things for the Peshmerga because we we fight in Peshmerga fighting to all the world. Eubank says the battle is between freedom and tyranny. Down there is oppression, darkness and death. Here is light, freedom and movement. We all just came here. Nobody stopped us. We came all the way here. We can go back. You can you can do whatever you want tonight. You can, you can leave the country if you want. You can stay. You can't do that there. You will dress this way. You will talk this way. You will pray this way and you will stay until we tell you. you they shoot too, the, okay. the, in the, the mountain there. Yes. Yet life on the front lines means daily harassment by ISIS with mortar attacks. Two mortars just hit, one was about 300 yards away, another was about 500 yards away. This is uh, fired by ISIS uh, at a village just over the ridge here. And uh, this happened yesterday. Uh, a Peshmerga fighter was killed just uh, in a position we were just a little while ago. So this is what happens uh, most every day here on the front lines. It's an attack reminiscent of the trench warfare from World War I. This Kurdish commander showed us the number of mortars shot at his position. Eubank says the U.S. presence makes a difference. Three very positive things U.S. presence does here. One is we help stop ISIS and defeat them. Second, we save lives. The third thing is our presence creates an environment and a possibility and the conditions for people to talk together that normally wouldn't. He also says prayer makes a difference. And my three prayers are ISIS would be stopped, Kurdistan would be free, and the hearts of all enemies would change to follow Jesus. Many of the Christians are praying too, like Milad. He fled his home two years ago when ISIS captured his village, just a few hundred yards away from the Kurdish front lines. Pray for, for us and ask Jesus to help us to go back 
and pray in our chairs. His prayer could be answered with the success of this key military campaign. We'll have more stories from our trip to Kurdistan in future shows.